This is the Hall of the Buddhas, but if you notice something, all of them have their heads off, and some of them are missing hands or arms, and I was told by my guide, the reason being, this is originally a Hindu temple, and then raiders came in, you know, stealing things, and I guess they didn't, it converted to a Buddha. To, if I'm wrong, correct me, I believe is what I understand, went from Hindu to Buddhism and then raiders came in, I guess they weren't into the Buddha thing, so they cut off the heads dispersed them, I think to other countries I believe that's the history, but don't mark my words on that, but yeah, look see how the heads are all missing? yeah restoration is going on as we speak. Doing something with the stones up in there. Yeah, I'm not really feeling like walking around a construction site. Sort of takes away of the mystery, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going the opposite side of the construction. Wow, look at this. one of the lotus towers just imagine those were the original steps like these no rails that would be harrowing to climb up there and back on those teeny little steps with no rails but you know what they did it condition. It almost looks like she's totally untouched by time. Look at this. Look at the detail. Hardly worn over 900 years. Oh, wow. I was told by the guy that you see this woman everywhere and her headdress is different every time, right? Look. You see how her headdress is different every time? She supposedly was a modern day topless dancer, well, ancient topless dancer compared to our modern day topless dancer. I hate to put it that way, but she was like entertainment for the gods and the demons. Correct me if I'm wrong out there, if you people know more, but yeah, she was the entertainment. <laughs> like a belly dancer with no top. <laughs> And supposedly they dance with no top so that they would attract attention. I mean, what do you think, right? This breeze feels so good. I'm not gonna lie, man. I know you can't hear me with the breeze. Awesome breeze coming through here. Can you imagine my big feet? Walking on those little steps <laughs> all the way up there? I don't think so. Bro. This is incredible. Look how they put these rocks together, man. Or stones, I should say. Unreal. This has survived the test of time. are coming in now. You ever seen anybody walk backwards down a set of steps? You have now. I have never seen that before. The dude made it. Whoa.
corner on the outside of Anchor Watt. Right here is the outside of it. Now look at this. These are the woods. Isn't this gorgeous? It's so lush and green. These trees are beautiful. There's a path. You can sit under here and relax, or you can walk around the entire complex. And the air is so nice and cool. It's been very hot. Well, you get into the center of the complex, there's no air. <laughs> I mean, there's breeze in certain little doorways that are open, but when you get to a spot where there's no breeze, you sweat. You can feel the humidity, and that's probably why my face looks super red. But, uh, oh, this is beautiful. Look at the lush green grass. This is incredible. Look how beautiful these woods are. Oh, this is very beautiful and peaceful. And again, here's the library, at least one of them. The other one's on the other side. These are called reflection ponds. There's one there and one on the other side. Oh, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you've never been to Anchor Wat, I highly recommend it because this place, it's just, it's an architectural wonder. Like, you, you cannot believe how they put this entire complex together. Like, it blows my mind. 37 years? That's all it took? 37 years to build all of this. 900 years ago. And think about like what technology we have today and what they had back then. And they did this in 37 years. Lots of manpower. Lots of elephant power from what I understand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm walking on water, oh yeah. In case you're wondering what's going on in this scene, from what my guide has told me, this side represents the gods. And the gods are holding on to a piece of the snake, which is called the Naga. And the Naga's tail is all the way down there. And then the head is right here. says that they're smiling <laughs> but I swear I don't see too many good smiles on these uh, on these gods quite beautiful though beautiful beautiful scene but we're not at Anchor Wat we are actually at um, Anchor Tom and once we pass through this gate with the four heads we will see the famous um, overgrowth uh, the trees and the roots overgrowing on top of the stones and the temples. It's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, wow. This is nice. Very, very nice. As you can see, 
see all the people coming and going through here. It's pretty busy. Oh, this is nice. Check this out. They must have redid this. Unless these heads are in good shape. I don't know. It looks like they refurbished it. Here are the demons holding the other side of that guy. And as you can see, that stretches all the way down the end and the head of the snake is right down there. <laughs> totally fascinating, totally awesome. Ticket. If you don't have one and you're a foreigner, you'll pay 2,000 reals. Not sure exactly what that is in dollars. I'll have to convert it and put it on there. My new friend Toy, that's T O W, and we're in Cambodia on the Angkor Wat site. And I'd like to do an interview with him today. He is my driver for the day, and uh, a friend recommended him to me. He's a fantastic guy. I want to go ahead and do an interview, and he's going to tell you all about himself. Hey, Toy, tell me. Hey, hey, hello, nice to meet you. Yes, tell the audience. Uh, how long have you been in business? Yeah, my name is Toy. I'm like a tuk tuk and taxi driver. Mm -hmm. for, I've been working for like, um, let's say, 20 years until now. Okay. Yeah, so I started uh, since I was like a teenager, like a small young uh, adult like that. Yeah. Since so you were a teenager, you've been doing this? Yeah, yeah, I mean like uh, when I, before I got married like that. Okay. Yeah. And now okay. I got two boys. <laughs> yeah, two yeah. boys that you got to take care yeah, of. Yeah. 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 Sure. Okay, and um, so you've been doing this for how long? 10 years? Uh, more than 20 years. Yeah. 20, 20 years? Yeah, now I'm 37. So, so you've been doing it a while? Yeah. Okay. So you are very familiar with this area and, and the history? Yes, yes. I'm not a tour guide, just basically the driver, but yeah. we almost like, we can tell you information about every temple like that. Yeah. And, and let me tell you, he's very knowledgeable. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, um, tell me about your rates. How much do you charge for one person? Maybe up to four? Actually, we charge per tuk tuk, so we available seat from one to four people on the tuk tuk. Okay. So the price will be only eighteen dollars, so that you can split the cost. If you have more people, that will be cheaper for you, like that. Yeah. So oh. the whole price for tuk tuk just eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. That's a deal, folks. That's a deal. Um, also, I asked Toy if he could get me some water in a ice cooler and some beer, and he did it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so we have Cambodia beer, Chang beer, and cold water, cold fresh towel, all for you like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. And Coke as well. Yeah. And Coke, that's yeah. right. He did get Coca-Cola, not the snort stuff, this red Coke. <laughs> anyway, um, but you do, of course, you, you, you need to get reimbursed for the drinks, obviously. But you save the receipt, yes. and then they just pay you at the end of the tour. Yes, yes, yes. So okay. we start the tour, like... If, even what my customer they order, like early uh -huh. morning sunrise or late morning like that, until yeah. we done, maybe it took around six to eight hours in between that. Okay. In a small cycle route like that, yeah. We accept to go to the long journey, like two or three hours away, then we will discuss more like that, yeah. Okay. But our price fee is mainly for all the main temples, right? Include the Tomb Raider one, the Jungle Temple, yeah. the Bayan Angkor Tom, Angkor Wat, so okay. all, a lot in the route like that. The whole complex, the whole complex basically. So, yeah. Now, he, uh, he will also take you for lunch. Now, of course, you've got to pay for your own lunch, but this is a really nice area. Um, take a look at this. There's all, like, restaurants under here that you can chill out and watch the ruins while you're eating. Um, and you know the lady that works at the restaurant? Yeah. Uh, she's my, like, uh, her husband is my 
best friend before. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm lucky he already passed away during the COVID like that. Yeah. I know. Yes, I know. That's a sad thing. Us, like to still in school like that. So it's just yeah. support her for her uh, school yeah. to the future like that. Yeah. And so you just you bring your customers to her so they can have food yes, yes, and yes, everything. Yes, yes. And, and it's reasonably priced. Like I got a really good uh, meal for six dollars and a drink for a dollar fifty. So it's really reasonable. Okay. Um, hmm. Anything else you want to add? Anything, words of wisdom that you want to share with the world? <laughs> well, you know, I wish everyone's um, more coming to Cambodia to visit Angkor Wat okay. and um, to support like local works to have more people um, to do for the job. Yes. Yeah. So I wish everyone um, knowing about Cambodia more and more like that. Yes. Come to come to Cambodia. Um, I'm going to put his uh, WhatsApp. You are on WhatsApp, right? Yeah, WhatsApp, Instagram as well. Okay. And I got my Facebook page as well. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to try to get all his links and I'll put them below this uh, this video. So book a tour with my uh, my friend Toy. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, just to be uh, informed again uh -huh. that um, if traveling with me, yeah, you don't need like the official tour guide because I'm almost almost nearly like a tour guide. He's like an all-in-one. Just all-in-one like that, you know. Just yeah. for to ride and you get like two service, you know. <laughs> like, two for the cost of one. You can just drive a guide like that. Yes, and like I said, uh, a, a cooler full of nice cold drinks. So hey, you can't beat it. Anyway, thank you for the thank interview. So yeah. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs>